Okay, everybody, and welcome back to another Churchill Bros episode. And as you can see, we are in Lebanon. We are in Beirut. They are going for a classic 4-4-2 formation. And we, of course, are going for our 4 2 3 one. Our team for today's game is Dali in goal, Moana at left back, Parab, Aldor and Perez at the back, Aucho and Borgs in central midfield, Zoding, Cisse, Udanta Singh and Gigi as our front line. On our bench, we have De Silva, Lala, Sana, Han, Shin, Singh, Franco, and Nele. I don't believe they have any players we will recognise, unless you are a Lebanese Premier League fan, I guess. They have Yakubu, but I'm pretty sure that's not the Yakubu. Without further ado, do let's get in to our dressing room and see what our assistant has to say. We should challenge the team to pick up where they left off. Again, I feel like he says that every single time I enter this dressing room, but okay. I expect you to win tonight, boys. Let's give the fans... No, because we're away, so we don't want to give the fans anything. Go out there and carry straight on from where you finish. That's not a bad one. We're huge underdogs, so there's no pressure on you to succeed. Mm. Yeah, go on, carry on where you did last match. Dali liked it, Aldor liked it, Parab liked it, Aucho liked it, and so did Udon to sing. So not bad at all. Oh, we have a tunnel interview. How much of a boost is Mohammed? Well, any team would miss him, but they have capable replacements. After all, they are the favourites for today's fixture. Zahir. Toshev heads it forward to Hamda. Hamda gets tackled. It has fallen to Zreek. I'm assuming is how you pronounce that. Who is tackled by Moana? That was a nice little slide tackle by Moana, but they have a corner in 30 seconds. Not a great start, I must say. We are a little bit on the back foot by the looks of this. Camera comes inside, passes it to Toshev. <sighs> This is looking worrying. Although, to be honest, the possession is a bit confusing. For a game where we've seen many highlights from them so far, it's 50-50%. The other game, Manama, is the team that's away against the reigning champions. The we of course beat in the last episode. If you didn't see that, go back and watch it, because why not? You should catch up. But we have Cissé taking a free kick. Plays it into the box. It's headed away, but it's fallen back to Cissé on the edge of the area. Will he do anything with it? Plays it out wide to Aldor. Aldor's bringing it inside. Just holding it up. Plays it to Aucho. Aucho also holding it up. Plays it shot to Cissé. He plays it back to Boggs. Boggs whips it out to the wing for Moana. Who seems to come inside again. Don't know why we're not using the wings. But it seems to be working so far with this possession-based football. Perez whips across in though, and it's collected by Zahia. I'm going to struggle with that guy's name for the whole match. Don't know why, it's not a hugely difficult name to say, but Zahia, it's just the pronunciation. Parab heads it away. Yeah. He heads it away to the edge of the box where Ayaz is waiting. Samia Ayaz with his first goal of the season in the Asian Confederation Cup. That is not a good start. Come on lads, show a bit of fashion. I know we're the underdogs but not like this. Not like this. 41st minute and we are 1-0 down. Going into half time because it doesn't look like we're going to pull one back. No, nope, we are not. The other game is currently nil nil. We have had four shots to their two, one on target to one on target, seven fouls to six fouls, zero yellow cards to one yellow card, 55% possession to 45. Dali has been our pe best performer, even though you consider that stupid goal. And Ayaz, of course, has been their best performer. 
Perez has been our worst with a 0% crossing completion ratio. Their worst has been Honda, who has had 0 overall chances for a striker that's terrible. So they've got a terrible striker, we've got a terrible defender. I think we should really sympathise with the team. I think we should encourage them to play better. Um, We've been the better team, not really. Uh, no, I expect to see a much better second half. I'm not going soft on these lads. We will not get out of this group if we go soft. So, go at them hard. Very hard. Manama is still holding the current reigning champions to a draw. So that is useful in terms of the group at least. Although I'm pretty sure only one team qualifies from each of these groups, so it doesn't really matter. Because we have dropped down to second place. Not sure what any prize money is like. With our financial situation, every little helps. So maybe second in the group compared to third might be a little helpful. Zreek kicks over the bar though. Perez with a ball on the halfway line. Plays it to Dan Sink. Dan Sink to say 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 plays it shot. Ouch on the edge of the area. Ouch out. Ooh. Ouch is not Samir Ayaz. I'm guessing. There is a high scoring game in the one above us though. Rim Yong Su is currently 4 1 up. They've just had a free kick and it hits side nine. That is good. We are going to go from positive to attacking because why not at this point? We are going to go down fighting. Nelly's coming on for Gigi because Gigi is doing nothing apparently in today's game. We will bring on Sana for Parab who's having a terrible game at the bar. Now, Udon to sing or Zhou Ding? That is the question. Hmm. Actually, Cisse's fitness is not great, so Franco can come on. And fingers crossed, that'll work. Because ahead is still ahead. And Rim Yong Su is now 5 1 up. Is he any other high scoring games? No. The other game in this group is currently 1-1 though, so that is not bad. In fact, if Manama win that game, that would be really helpful. Come on, Manama. We are not getting any highlights. This is not good. It's not good at all. Come on lads, show some passion. Little bit of passion for these last nine minutes or so. Come on, box edge of the box. Plus it shot who dancing. Shot to Oucher. Cut on Oucher. No. Crashed off the bar. That is teasing. Ay ay ay. Camera dispossessed, nice tackle, but we don't need nice tackles, we need a blending goal. And it's not looking likely at this rate. Can't believe Outcho just smashed that against the bar. Come on, Franco, big screamer right now. 30 seconds. Just win the ball back. That's all we need to do. Zahir. Looks like we're probably going to lose this 1 0. This seems like the boring finish the game highlight. Monsieur. Monsieur plays it Scaff. Scaff to four. Yep. Sadly, we have taken the L in this one. Isaiah Yakubu got a booking. Samia Ayaz got the one and only goal in the 41st minute. They had seven shots to our 12. Three on target to our two. 11 total fouls to our 12, 1 yellow card to 0 yellow cards, 
42% possession to our 58. Their, their best player was Samia Ayaz with that one goal, 8.3 match rating. Moana was our best player with a 7.2. Gigi was our worst performer, hence why I took him off with a 6.5. Their worst stayed as Hamdar with his 6.4. Grab made his 25th career appearance and did nothing with it. Great. I think we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. Um, with those statistics, I'm not happy. Play better. We should be doing a little better than that. And just to make things worse, Algeria, 83rd minute goal. So I believe that puts us third in the group. Let's just have a quick little look. Yes, we have now dropped down to third place. We are two points behind Algeria and ahead. So that is not good. But I will see you in the second game in just a second. Okay, everybody, so time for the second game of today's video. And we are playing bottom of the group, Manama. So this is a must-win game. And they are playing a 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. Pretty sure they didn't go with that one last time. I'm pretty sure they went... With something more along the lines of a 4-1-2-1-2. You might have to correct me on that one, but I'm pretty sure that's what they went with. Anyways, our team has no changes to the starting lineup and no changes to the bench. So sticking with our 4-2-3-1 with Gigi up front and Dale Ingo. Dale. Dali. Stupid little combination of Nelly and Dali, I guess. Not sure where I went with that one. But our assistant thinks we should try and encourage the team. And you know what? Let's give the fans a puff. Uh, let's give the pan. I can't English today. Jesus. Let's give the fans a good performance despite the odds being against us here. Indeed. Couple listened keenly. That did not go as well as I hoped. It is not the best weather for football out there today. How do you think your how do you think the conditions will affect your performance? Well if it's anything like my speaking right now, we all play terrible. I don't think they're too bad. Uh, my players can adapt to any situation a little bit of weather isn't going to affect us. Yep. We are an Indian team, we're used to Indian weather. They are not. Maybe they'll get affected a lot more than we will. After all, these are from Bahrain, if I remember rightly. So they are probably more used to warm weather than we are. So give us a bit of drizzle. Nice, damp, horrible pitch. I don't mind bad weather, especially when we're going against Manama. There's been an early first minute goal for Dordoy against Asya. I'm not sure what group that's in, but yep. They scored in the first minute. Didn't realise Minerva Punjab was in this. Should probably keep an eye on how they get on. Moana. Close one into Zoding. Zoding, shot from distance, but it's saved by the Messiah. Or, as I should say, Meshima. It's like the Mesh Messiah. And this drink is really gassy. Borgs plays it to Be Perez. Plays it better Borgs, who plays it to Perez, who plays it to Dan Singh. Who Dan Singh plays it shot to Cissé, who plays it to Outcho. Outcho to Moana. Will Moana whip one in or will he come inside? He tries to whip one in but hits the defender. Nadji on the counter attack though. Will Nadji do anything? Nadji's bombing it down the wing. Can Moana get back to defend this? Whips across in, header goes wide, and that is a nice, comfortable goal kick for us. We have Moana taking the throw in. Cissé, back to Moana. Goes to play one in, plays one in, kicked wide though. Boggs has the ball, plays it out wide to Perez. Acres of space, will he whip one in, whips one in, back post, Zoding. Oh, come on, Zoding. Plenty of space. Perez, nice little delivery. Should have done better. Noruz plays one back to the keeper. Keeper's dilly-dallying on the ball, but he gets it away. Aldor heads it away. Shakir 
Heads it to Najee. Outro, nice tackle. Bogs plays it all the way back to Dali. Dali now. Plays it to Prab. Prab's just going to billy Dali on the ball, I guess. Zoding, Zoding on the wing. Will Zoding wait for Moana? No, he works one across to Gigi. And it is nodded wide. Terrible finishing by the strikers on both sides so far. Moana collects the goal kick. He plays it down the wing to Zoding. Zoding's got it on the halfway line. Will he come inside? Plays it inside to Outro. Outro to Cisse. Cisse plays it across field. Is that Perez on the wing? It is Perez. Perez tries to cross one in. Hits the defender. Falls to Boggs though. Boggs plays it to Cisse. Cisse will he do anything with this? Plays it to Boggs who plays it to Sing. Sing plays it to Cisse who plays it back to Outro. Outro plays it to Moana in acres of space. Whips across in surely. Yes he does. Zoding doesn't get on the end of it. Zoding's got in the middle though, plays it shot to Dancing and it's a goal! Come on! That's what we needed. Defender heads it away. Ayad makes a terrible decision to head it back into the box for some reason. Zoding picks it up, plays it to Sing, and Sing plays it into the net. Not bad. I will take my goals however we get them. Like GG nabbing it off the defender, surely. No, GG. He's won it back, though. Oh, come on. Najee's got the ball. Parab, silly foul, but I will take it. It slows play down, gets our players back. And the other goer is 1-0 up against Minerva Punjab. They scored in the second minute. Didn't realise Goa was playing against Minerva Punjab. But the only team in Goa we care about is us. Oh. Ishmael with a close shot though. Shorky. Like a melody in my head. Who is Shorky? Ah, the left back. I saw something come up about Shorky. And it caught my attention. But we have a free kick on the edge of the box. It is Outcho. Outcho. Oh, come on, Outcho. You've not scored one like that for a while. I want to see you get a nice free kick into the top corner. Moana. Works on him. Sing. Sing beats the goalkeeper. Let's go, Sing. Not sure how the goalie didn't get that. Tried to come and collect it. Completely missed it. Beating the air by Sing. Let's have another look at that one. Sing one on one with a keeper, nods it past him. That is 2 0. And Home United is 3 0 up. Sorry, 3 1 up now. Kuwait is 1 1. And how is our other game? Ah, at least we don't have to scroll now. Ahead is currently 1 0 down to Al Quera Al Jawiya. So they're currently up to nine points. We could do with them two drawing, really. A sad scored in the 28th minute for them. But the stats for our game so far. We have Udan to sing on a brace with goals in the 24th and 40th minutes. We have had 13 shots to their six. Eight shots on target to one. Seven fouls to ten. Zero yellow cards to one yellow card. 58% possession to 42. Udanta Singh, of course, has been our best performer so far with his brace. 8.7 match rating. Ayad has been their best performer at right back with an 81% passing completion ratio, which has got him a 6.7 rating so far. Their worst performer has, of course, been their goalkeeper. One mistake which led to a goal, 6.3, which I'm assuming is when he came out and got beat by Singh in the air. Borgs is our struggling performer with a 6.6 .6 rating. But let's get into the dressing room and see what the assistant has to say. I think we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. I think we should too. Assertively, I'm very pleased with your performance. Keep it going, lords bit of a morale boost this game hopefully it will allow us to bounce back in the next episode pick up a couple of wins finish top of the group and get into the knockout rounds but we have to win this one first 
Keeper pushes it away. Don't know what he was thinking there, but it's fallen kindly to Shockey. Shockey gets dispossessed. Spark has it. Plays it to GG. GG, nice finish. <laughs> Come on. Not sure what on earth was going on here. This was a scramble. Sharky tackled that ball. Plays it to Gigi. Kicks it between the defenders. Past the goalkeeper. Bottom corner. 3-0. Not a bad way to start half. We have, of course, moved up to second place. And hopefully ahead can tie the game. Get themselves on the same points as us, put Algeria. I'm not gonna even say the full name. It's just Algeria. <laughs> Get all three of us on to seven points. Mana Mars, duck on one. Then we'll all be good. But it doesn't look like there's any signs of them doing that so far, as it remains one nil. At least they haven't gone further behind. And we should probably make some substitutions because we are into the 74th minute and we are yet to bring anybody on. Cissé is looking very tired so Franco can come on for Cissé. We have Moana who's looking tired so Lala can come on for the Dipsy. And we will leave it at a double substitution for now because no my luck I will take a fade off and then we'll get an injury. And that will not be good. They have gone all out though. Triple substitution. Oh, sorry. Double substitution after already making one on the 59th. So they've used up all of theirs. Little bit risky, I must say. Ahead is still 1-0 behind. Come on, ahead. Go down to sink. Edge of the box. Plays it shot to Prab in the box. Oh. They got it away, but it's a throwing deep in their heart. And to take it is Perez. Throws it short to Franco. It doesn't go to Franco. So it was a terrible throw. Jafar. Jafar has the ball. Plays it inside to Hussein. Hus eh, sorry. Hassan. Who plays it onto the post. Lala gets the ball though. Zoding. And that is a dead highlight. We have a corner now. Franco whips one in. Udan to sing hat trick. Surely. Yes. Eighth goal of the season. Assisted. By Franco Who done to sing Let's have another look at this one Weird little header Wasn't looking the right way Just runs back Heads it backwards And we are 4-0 up ladies and gents After that first disappointing result This is not a bad way of bouncing back 3 minutes from normal time Zoding free header Don't know what their keeper's doing again Honestly, I'm not sure how we ended up drawing against these in our first fixture, looking at the state of them at the moment. But I will take this 4-0 victory. Parab. Parab plays it short to Franco. Edge of the area. Franco's trying to have a shot, but it hits the defender. Bounces back to Boggs. Boggs has the ball now. Plays it to Perez. Will Perez do anything? No, because it's a dead highlight. 89th minute, though. And they have the ball. Haldor heads it away. Badran plays it Shakir. Shakir to Jafar. Jafar gets tackled. Perez gets the ball away. And we are slowly getting rid of time as Franco takes the corner. They head it away. Zoding edge of the area. Plays it out wide to Franco. But it is all over, folks. 4 0 at home against Manama. Who down to sing with a hat trick with goals on the 24th, 40th, and 84th minutes. GG pitched in with a goal on the 48th minute. And our match statistics were 24 shots to 9, 15 to 1, 12 fouls to 15 fouls, 0 yellow cards to 2 yellow cards, 60% possession to 40% possession. So we finally had a game where we had 60% possession and actually did something with it. Anyways, our best performer, of course, was a down to sing with his hat trick, 9.6 rating. Al G Galen, I'm assuming. Al Galen, their defensive right side 2.1 kilometers distance covered was their best player with a 6.7 rating our biggest struggler was lala who basically was just covering for moana because he was dying and he got to 6.8 as shaki got a 6.1 gg of course made his 200th career 
appearance. So that is a good for GG. I think we should let the team know we appreciate their efforts. So do I. Can't remember your name, Parry. Oh. Uh, Parish Shivalka. I do too, Parish. People have written us off today and you've proven them all right. Well done on a great result. Exactly. That was a fantastic result. I think they have been overly done. Now let's have a little look at some of the other Indian teams I didn't realise that were actually in this. Ahead did exactly as we wanted. Got their late equaliser. Who do we have to thank? We have Toshev, 90 plus 4. Leaving it really late to equalise. But let's go have a look for Goa and some of the others. So whereabouts are these going to be? Um, That's all of the West Asian. Let's just go section by section so central asian zone group d there's no one in there we have south asian all groups so they're in the south asian zone group e we have goa minerva punjab and two other teams which i don't think are relevant fc goa we should probably do this FC Goa, Scout, everybody in your team, Minerva Punjab, we have scouted quite a few of you, especially Cornelius, but we should probably scout the rest of the Indian players, so we'll scout them. Is there anybody in this region? No, 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 and... Oh, oh, now I'm clicking on the complete wrong thing. That's not going to help at all now, is it? No one in here, but I kind of want to see how good this North Korean side is. This, yes, it's the North Korean side. Because they seem to be smashing teams. I'm guessing their group is a lot easier than ours because they don't seem that formidable, to be honest with you. It feels like whoever comes out of our group is probably the team that's going to win it. How is Qwit? Oh, Qwit. Then wages. 18,500 for this guy. 13,500, 11,500. What are we competing against in this tournament? You aren't on a whole lot. What about you? No. So Kuwait is probably the one we're going to have to watch out for. But that will not be in the next episode because the next episode, I believe, yes, is ahead. And then back to Al Quiwa Al Jawiya for the away game against them. So, thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope to see you in the next episode. And thank you all for watching. Good night.